Hey guys, today we're going to be inspired by an artist named Heather Galler. Um, she creates these really bright, bold drawings and she adds in her own color using paint and markers. Um, so she's an artist from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I would consider her a pop artist uh, just because her colors are so bright and beautiful. Um, and she uses a lot of dark black outlines too, kind of reminiscent of pop art. Um, and what we're going to do today is be inspired by one of her paintings. Um, so make sure you take a look at the example in our Google Classroom. Um, or just follow along with me here. So we're going to start by drawing a flower pot first. So I'm going to do a smile. Two lines down. Feel free to pause the video if you need a second to catch up. Connect at the bottom. I'm going to draw a table. So we'll go straight across here. Two. Finish off this flower pot here. Three. And then when she creates her flowers, she uses a unique strategy, starting with circles in the middle, adding designs on the outside. A lot of them just keep circling. Let's add in a little leaf here. Maybe one more leaf here. There we go. A squiggle line. So I want you to kind of fill your page with a bouquet of flowers. Another leaf here. Leaf is a good way to kind of fill in some of those blank spots. Do a spiral. Maybe this will be kind of a rose. There we go. Let's do a tulip. Another leaf. All right, now when the, a majority of your background is filled in, we're gonna add our stems in. So we'll kind of connect these down into our flower pot here. Might have to do a little overlapping. There we go. Maybe add a thorn to our rose. All right, now, Another thing she loves to do is create patterns in her artwork. So I want you to come up with a couple patterns. Do one on your flower vase. Maybe add in another pattern down here on the table. Do some stripes first. I'm gonna double these up. Do a squiggly line across. Now, once you are finished with your drawing, you feel free to add a pattern to your background as well. Um, once you're done with that, I encourage you to add in some color. So I'm gonna show you a more finished example here. And then once you're done adding color, feel free to snap a picture post it in Google Classroom or send me an email. Great job today, guys. I'll see you next week.